flat slimes. How well, are you guys doing? <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Welcome to the Blue Devil Update. My name's Ian. And I'm Blake Cecil Nelson. That's his full name, believe Cecil. it or not. Cecil. Uh, we have no school Monday. Mm-mm, not, not at all. That's mm -mm. great. So we're just donezo. Yeah, don't have to go. Actually, we graduate Monday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even in case if you're you a freshman. In case you couldn't tell, it's April Fool's Monday. Great. Let's get into the show. Would you like extra credit in all of your classes? Attend the Career Bridge Seminar on April 2nd, starting at 6.15. Sessions will be on college, getting a job, and other opportunities. Fall registration for Mitchell CCP classes will open at 7.30 a.m. on April 29th. Please be sure you know what classes you would like to take before April 29th. The classes you select must be in your current pathway. You can report to the cafeteria at 7.30 a.m. on that day if you need help registering for classes. If you do not know your current pathways or have any questions, email Mrs. Justice at this link. This, this long address at MGSD. And now we gotta go to another address, which is Student Spotlight. Are you doing it this week? No. Nah, I Darn. got kicked to the curb. Got a promotion. Is it a promotion though? I don't like you. Let's get into it. Hey, my name's Nick and I'm here with Evan and he's going to Greenland this summer for an out-of-country program sort of thing and he's here to explain it. So, uh, how'd you learn about the program? So, I got a big list of like summer programs from the North Carolina School of Science and Math and I was just looking through it and it caught my attention. Definitely, and what is this program like overall? So basically I'm going to go to Greenland with another group of students from the United States along with some students from Denmark and Greenland and some researchers from Dartmouth University and other facilities and just do a polar science research and explore what polar science is. Definitely, that seems really extreme. And what are you most excited for? I'm really excited just to go to a different country, see how everything works there and hopefully learn some cool things about the environment. Bye, Slime. Bam! We know you want to learn more about your MHS administrators. So we're bringing you an admin spotlight. I did that one, I did that one. Did you? Yeah, that's me. Great. Hi, I'm Blake Nelson, and this is Admin Spotlight, and I'm here with... Hi, I'm Tracy Wade. I'm the Assistant Principal of Instruction here at the high school. Okay, and uh, we have some questions for her about high school when she was there. Uh, what was the fashion like for when you were in high school? When I was in high school, it was all about the ankle roll jeans with scrunchy socks and then Converse tennis shoes. And uh, what was your favorite subject? I loved world languages. I took French and Spanish all through high school. Okay, and uh, what was your throwback song for when you were in high school? I used to listen to Eric Clapton's Change the World on my tape recorder in my Walkman again and again and again. Okay, thank you so much, and that's all. So you could see the truth. Let's check out some other things that have been happening on campus. Do you know we're on campus? Mm hmm I scare myself every day. Hey guys, on Monday, April the 1st, is the month of Autism Awareness Month. And we are going to be doing something a little different this year. We're doing a challenge. So ninth graders, you will be wearing red. Uh, tenth graders, you will have yellow. And eleventh graders are light blue. And twelfth graders is dark blue. You are going to take as many pictures as you can with a complete puzzle. So you want all four colors in one picture. And the student in the most pictures with the different people will get a gift card. This is for the capstone, the people about to graduate from Mitchell's IT programs. There's three tracks, 
the programming software design track, the networking track, which she's in, I'm in the programming track, and the hardware and software support track. All three of these capstone projects happen at the same time period, so we can go in and do events like this. This event is where all the capstone projects showcase what they've been working on this year. Hats or headgear may not be worn inside the building at any time unless there is a documented religious purpose. This is for safety purposes. Headgear may include hoods, do-rags, or anything else. Uh, come to the gym, 4th block, April 12th, to watch some faculty members take on students at Dodgeball. burden on the custodians. It also leaves a mess around the campus and it brings mice and bugs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> My sleeves are all rolled up because it's time for sports highlights and all these people have amazing long careers like Rob Gronkowski. Yeah, Gronk clonk. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, guys. You guys make it worthwhile. Yes. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Blue Double Update. And uh, if you're free this weekend, come on down to Amstar. See We're Brooklyn movie. Boys. No, don't go to Brooklyn, Brooklyn Boys. Boys for some pizza. Nah. Okay. If you were a snack, what type of snack would you be? Oh, that's easy. A banana. Uh, I'll be a Snicker. Yeah, I'm a honey bun because I'm sweet. Chocolate. Watches. Fruit cups. At what age do you think Mr. Schwarzenegger lost his hair? 12. 22. 75. I had a bald head forever. As a kid. All right, what age did I shave my head? Did you shave or did you lose your hair? Oh, no, it shaved. Okay, okay. So I mean, I'm balding a little bit, but it shaved. At what age did you shave your head? It was two years ago.
tell you um, about what happens once you submit your See Something, Say Something report. So once you submit that report, um, that report um, is sent to um, administrators and counselors. And once the form is received, um, sometimes administration will handle the form based on the context of the referral and sometimes it goes to counselors. So we move forward with um, finding out more information. So in regards to the see something, say something button on the website, um, the question has come up is why students that report something don't know the results of the report. And because of privacy laws, federal regulations, and other areas like that, it might be legal, we don't always or we cannot always share the outcome of an investigation or the investigation itself. So please know that if you do the see something, say something, that there is going to be a response, and if we can talk to you about it, we will, legally. All right, so is your see something, say something really anonymous? Yes, but if you're going to be anonymous, please make sure you give us enough information about the situation so that we know the who, the what, the when, the where, so that we can actually start an investigation. See something, say something can be used for practically anything, like bullying. Or a student in need. Or maybe a rumor about violence or fight. See something, say something can also be used to reach out for self-help. Self-help such as suicidal thoughts and depression. Most importantly, students should be using the system for a legitimate reason and not a prank. So over the course of the next couple of weeks, we're going to be introducing the seven deadly digital sins. And these are going to kind of focus on the activities and behaviors that we have now that tie into the old school uh, seven deadly sins. So we're going to be taking a look at all of those and then how you can better your life by being more aware of those things. Thanks, CJ, for being in this interview. Mm -hmm. We're here today to talk about your YouTube addiction. Do you think what you're doing is healthy? I don't really see a problem with it, it's just what I like to do. I mean, everybody loves their phone, but if you spend all your day on it just watching YouTube and not interacting with your friends, there's, it's kind of pointless. How do your family and friends feel about you watching videos all the time? They say I have a problem, but I mean, I, I can stop whenever I want to. Hey, can you pause that real quick? Just give me, just give me two minutes, it's almost done. I mean, he's got a serious problem. It's disconnecting him from all of his friends and family. He's calling me right now. What's up? Hey, did you get that video? The, what, 